February on our farm had a sad start. We knew that our sheep would be lambing earlier than usual this year when Otto the ram broke into their pen before we wanted them to mate back at the end of summer. But then it all happened too fast, too soon, and Tilda presented with major difficulties after her lambs died before birth, internal rupture and infection, too advanced to be treatable. And also we knew it was the only way to avoid more suffering for Tilda. It was a hard decision to say goodbye to her and let the vet put her down. She was a fine, friendly sheep and didn't just leave us feeling lonely for her, but Harriet too, who now is our only yo. Just in time we had finished the new sheep stable and Harriet felt she had to get on with lambing straight away. She had a single, healthy, sturdy lamb. She's getting older and I'm glad nature gave her a break and she won't be stretched in any way just looking after the one. We call him Sonny. And he is adorable, but a bit lonely. We decided to give him some entertainment and share him with the residents in some of the hospitals we visit. He just loves the attention and so do the residents. It is amazing what wonderful emotions a little vulnerable baby sheep can trigger in people. Well, with regard to Sonny longing for playmate, he isn't picky at the least. <laughs> Sonny, Sonny. Are you trying to get Judy and Turnip to play with you? <laughs> and there are also plans to give him some company hopefully soon. We had new arrivals here on the farm, pygmy goats. Meet Twig and Bramble. We'll tell you more about them soon. I was asked to take on a young pony to start him on his riding career. So Paddy came to stay with us for a few weeks. He did so well and soon we went up and down the road. I feel lucky to have such pleasant work sometimes. Dolly, our pony, is with us two years now and as we don't know her real birthday, we celebrate her gotcha day as her birthday too. 14 years young. She is such a kind pony, trying her best. But some riding tasks still simply make her melt with anxiety. Maybe too much pressure from a previous owner when she was started as a young pony. We'll never know. But we practice a lot together that she can learn to regulate her anxiety better and stay clearer in her thinking. And also progress has been slow over the last two years. She is a pleasure to retrain. And then there is Flora, always willing, always ready. Thanks for working for us so hard. No big effort for Flora to pull these bundles across the field, but it saves us a lot of rather strenuous manual labour. All right, Flora. Let's go. Come on then. Good girl. The 
goose started laying in early February and she still isn't finished. This year she chose Trudy and Turnip's doghouse to lay her okay, eggs in. I won't go I won't go in, lad. It's okay. So rather than trying to resettle her somewhere else and risk possibly putting her off the whole reproduction thing, we asked the dogs to rehouse and moved one of their huts to a different place. Trudy came into heat again and as it is a good time of year to think of young ones, we let her and Turnip mate. Let's see what nature makes of it. The builders came for a brief episode to pour some concrete where the hay shed is going to be, but they are gone again since, unfortunately. No block layer can be found to continue the job, apparently. Builders are so busy here that a small job like mine hardly seems worthwhile. It's just so delightful to get up early these days, with the dawn moving in earlier and earlier from the east and the birds filling the still air. Such a peaceful, pleasant start for an early spring day. <laughs> <laughs>